Hey guys, what's up? This is Jay Hoosier, and we are back with a, another episode of Broken Eden. Um, however, we are currently T TKC less. Um, they are off uh, doing uh, whatever TKCs do in their free time. Oh. Oh. This is due to a technical reason. We have a magnesite nugget. All right. Anyway, um, yeah. We are not going to do any more of that. So I don't think I'm going to be um, showing the first recording. This is the second recording I've done. Uh, kind of this style of thing. Um, I don't think I'm going to show last night's because I w wasn't feeling it. Um, I don't think it was very useful for people because basically I, I didn't really know what I was getting into and doing so anyway um so welcome to a new ship uh there's Mah Mahanga with our lovely blue paint scheme this guy however this is the Orca um, the Orca is a, uh, was a recent addition to the workshop I saw, and it really scratched a couple of the itches that I felt I needed. Um, so I've been taking it for a test spin out on this Hell Planet just to see if it, uh, does what I hope it would do. Um, yeah, I've, uh, made some changes to things, but overall, uh, I mean, she's generally the same ship. Um... So I've already done a few rounds, well a couple rounds, I guess, uh, one <laughs> round of uh, gathering drone, uh, drone swarm processors. Um, I hit uh, a, bl a block of four of them just over here, so two swarms and two harvesters. Uh, these guys should have respawned by now, so um, let's go say hi to them. We have. So, uh, a review of the ship, generally, um, she's performing pretty well, um, I'm definitely, I was definitely, I'm definitely looking for something for a, 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 a specific purpose, I guess, so, um, please keep that in mind for whatever I say, this is, this is solely as a, like, um, drone swarm processor harvester, a harvester harvester if you will. Um, so the one that we want is on the inside. Of course it is. So basically, yeah, I, I've um, reconfigured a few things uh, from like the stock setup. So... Be right, did I, did I get everybody hooked up to this? I realized, like, one thing is that, um, everybody has their specific way of doing things, and it's funny when, uh, you don't really get that with a builder. Like, you don't really, your way of doing things is quite different from what a, another builder, or what a, a builder does. Sure, it's on. Alright, there we go, let's do this one now. Okay, yeah. Well, not pretty well. Right, let's see. Can you get that, uh... Get that generator? There we go. Come on, please stop. Fire this one. So, she's a bit floatier than the Kiwa. So, what I wanted was, um... A, I wanted to, basically what I what I described to some people as a uh, a stretch kiwa. So I am a big fan, as you may all know, of the SSW kiwa. Whoops! I stand and oh god, my stuck. At this. At least it's not mind you. I 
This is gonna be fun. Sure. Why not? Um, so first off is there's no drone watch. So what I have to do is if I wanna harvest a drone, uh harvester. Harvest a harvester here, as you may say. Um, I have to run down that uh little place a bit and get a uh and then put launch the Launch the drone. A lot of drones in this. Right. So. See how we do at collecting what we need. So, yeah, overall, um, pretty good. Uh, so I was I tried playing around in creative and building a, uh, a taking a kiwa as a base and kind of stretching it out. Um, I made it wider initially, and then I started making it longer. Um, so I could fit more shield parts. Uh, what I'd like to use it for is uh, what the author um, of this. I'll have a look when I get the chance. Back to the uh, ship. Let's have a look at the author's name, by the way. Um, TKC here, ooh, 10, to uh, kind of kind of do all my shopping for me. I um, sort of run out of uh, stuff. I'd be a bit more proactive about getting things for myself. Very nice. Fuel. That's it. There we go. All right. Yeah, so I wanted a stretch kiwa, and so that's why I played around with things. And it's was it's not fun to play with sometimes because I am not a builder, as some of you may have uh, surmised by now. But I did want to give it a try. I wanted to see if I could do something. And then I saw this pop up on the workshop, and I was like, "Well, you know what? This looks like it is a stretch kiwa." And to to most to a large extent it is um it's it's never not gonna be the same uh stan's builds are gonna be very much a specific thing Oops, it's not like this there we go. um very much a specific thing and that's all right it's good it it definitely does uh what it says on the tin aside from getting me out of this swarm thing we took out these swarms pretty, pretty handily. These harvesters first. This guy first. He was first. But basically, um, I do like that the uh, the builder they have a, a low power mode, which and um, does some different stuff. But there we go. Yeah, the lower power mode kind of gets rid of the turns off the thrusters and I think also the turrets, and makes it a little uh, more fuel efficient. This thing has a massive fuel tank; it is gigantic. I am very far from filling it up. That's one of my goals. Oh, there we go. Two. All right, our last one. Well, for this, maybe I'll just leave it. Definitely turns a lot slower. Orca is a heavy... Not a whale. It's not exactly a whale, but it, sometimes it steers like one. I know a lot of people don't save these, but I do want to 
harvest someone because I do need not like I don't need most of the, the ores, but I do need some of the resources like fuel, promethium, you know, platinum doesn't go amiss, things like that. Alright, that's it. That is done. That is uh, one round. Um, I think the first thing I would do is I would add a drone hatch. Uh, this block can't be taken out. Really, you gotta kind of pop up here. Doesn't really work. Maybe you can add a drone hatch here or a drone hatch over here. But basically, I need somewhere that's a little like like high enough that I can I can launch a drone out of it. Maybe maybe just cutting a hole in the glass here be necessary thing um because you want to be kind of close to this this is the problem is you need to be close to the the drone harvesters or like kinda over there like we're already 49 meters that is the limit of our drone 50 meters so if i am getting over here like I've got 47 meters, so I've really got very little room to play. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the problem. But, uh, aside from that, I think he is a really good ship for, for most things. What do do here? Really explored a lot of this yet. Spank site all around the place, but there's. Hmm. Anyway, yeah. Let's, uh, let's head back. Um, I'm kind of bored of picking these up. I've already, I've only done a couple, but I'm kind of, kind of tired. And it's, it's the, it's we got an hour before reset, so we're not terrible, terrible off. But I want to go back and um, kind of talk about the, the changes I made to the Orca. And then after that, I think I'm probably going to take uh, the Blue Tempest out and maybe have to go at a Camerat, uh, which I did in the mission, Zero X mission last week, but I haven't done uh, on camera. I didn't record it for, for who knows what reason. I don't think I wasn't thinking. Anyway, uh, so... This place, however, is... Come on. Chock full of... Bad guy. There's a, there's a Dreadmaw, there's some Warlord and Emirate. There are a couple Xerox ships all going at it. Um... Privateer Corvette down there. Substation, there's a post up there. That's where I need to go. So yeah, um, to kind of to kind of talk about what I what I did here. Uh, so the the main thing I, I ran into was um, kind of the the CPU. So she spawns in the Orca. Um, Spawns in at a uh, slightly over target, um, over the 2.1 million CPU. So when you get in, you really need to have something that you can do to uh, to upgrade it right then, because uh, she'll work all right. But she comes with like four. Ooh, where's our stuff? Small lifter still there. Um. So yeah, she comes with a um. Oh, positron turrets, I think, or two positron turrets. Not a whole lot as far as armament is concerned. So you're not really going to kill a lot of stuff out of the out of the gate. You kind of got to be ready to to do something else. Um. Also, that's good. You know what? We're gonna need you on so we can actually go through you. 
Can I walk through here? No. Can the gravity on? Yes. Can the gravity on and run around here? Uh, so let's take a quick tour. So here's the bridge. All of the crew were added by me. So we are just under. So I put a quantum in here. So that gets us up from 2.1 to 2.3 million. Uh, so all these crew were also added by me. That gives us another 40 something. And I did remove some things. And I'll go over what I, what I removed. Um, yeah, so we got a full medical suite here. Uh, we got a repair station, but you don't have a repair bay built in, so you gotta you gotta go about it yourself. Um, we got the kind of the captain's quarters and a bunch of loafers just hanging out. Uh, so that's pretty much the bridge area, the top floor. Um, there's like airlocks left and right, so you can head out this way. I don't know why this area down in the on the planet doing the harvesting this was counted as being outside, outside so it was kind of getting cooked there so you can stand there and like spawn your drone get further far enough back and then you can kind of like push yourself in so but you gotta do this each time you do it for a, a drone harvester which is not so great um uh, let's go downstairs so that's tech one bridge airlocks Medical quarter, teleporter, repair bag, uh, landing pad. Um, down here we have the production. There were two advanced constructors. I removed one so that I could uh, get a little bit more CPU. I don't really have a need for it because um, so we have the base here. And so this is built for more like being your like on your own, like a long range exploration ship, in which case you might need one. Uh, so we got two advanced generators, one on each side. I, I took one out initially and then realized that I wasn't going to be able to... Um, I could run the shields, the new shield setup, but I couldn't do it with uh, uh, the the weapons and thrusters going and all that. So anyway, um, <clears throat> out here, this is the shield area. So we have kind of the... Uh, oof, man, there's our advanced warp drive. I'm going to run back this way. Uh, here we have a capacitor bank and a charger coupling, right? And then on the other side, we have the other ones. And I thought there was a way... I thought this could fit the arrays, but maybe I was wrong. Huh. Now that I think about it, I don't know what I was thinking. I don't think you can fit the arrays in here. Anyway, uh, yeah, so... That's the shield bits. So initially you come in with like, uh, you come in with one of these each, these large ones, which are the small, okay? And then you have two each of capacitor banks and uh, charger couplings. And um, that's fine and all, but it requires a lot more CPU. Um, you have a lower, like right now I'm at 37,750, and I think my recharge rate is like, 400 or something is no mm, that can't be right there we go 400 okay so what else yeah so i was looking you can kind of it, it requires you know the initial setup requires uh quite a bit of over 400,000 cpu for the shields and and using the calculator you have like a 500 uh recharge rate and like a mid 20s thousand shield so um if you put if you remove the all but one of the medium uh capacitors then so if you remove the two chargers medium chargers and the one of the capacitors you will have and then put in the four large parts like i did um like I did back here, geez, I can't think, uh, then you will end up with that. So, uh, that's kind of, yeah, you'll end up with a little, a little less recharge, so 400 instead of 500, but you'll end up with a lot more, um, shields. And here's the CPU room, so we have, there's 10 empty spots on either side for quantum extenders and aux cores. So over here, I've put uh, one quantum uh, extender, which I got as a reward for taking part in one of the server events. 
use the long range radar in here. I think it's interesting. Stan's uh, Corsac did this. And I'm, I don't know how I feel about that. I kind of like them outside. I don't think I'm going to be in any danger of getting it shot off, so I'm not sure. Um, yeah, so anyway, uh, I added all the uh, crew here. I also, we have the advanced shield generator. I also removed, there used to be a deconstructor up here, and I took that out because, again, uh, I don't really need to deconstruct stuff on the fly. Uh, I did save everything. I can do if I need to. Um, I took out the one of the charger couplings. I took out the advanced constructor, the deconstructor. I took out the two artillery cannons and four advanced lasers because I was planning for this to be a, a planetary um, assault vessel. I took out the teleporter. I just don't really need, have a need for it right now. Yeah, and the rest of the stuff is just junk I picked up from doing the the things. All right. Yeah. So let's um. Let's go get a couple more. Oh, no, we're here. Uh, what are we doing? Okay, let's turn on the low power mode. That's what I should have done. Let's turn it off, actually. That's better. Yeah, so that is the Orca. Um, she's got a little space back here for parking in SV. Lovely, lovely. Love to see it. Um. <laughs> yeah. I don't think you can really park anything here and kind of be in view of your stuff. Oh, one thing I didn't show you is this thing has a. Uh, we'll go look at it from the bottom. So it's got a bombardment cockpit. So it's got this little cockpit down here. That's pretty cool. And you're meant to get in it and you can fly. You can kind of sit facing down so you can see what things are shooting at. So these I've added separately. Uh, I added a bunch of particle beam cannons. One, two, three, five, six particle beam cannons. And then also the two heavy laser turrets on each side. They have positron. So yeah, it really comes with just uh, two positron beam turrets stock. Not to mention the... Uh, lasers and artillery cannon so yeah uh, yeah let me know what you think uh, I, I, I think it's um, pretty functional it'll it'll work really well as it, um, with some CPU extenders and that sort of thing she's not as nimble as the Kiwa but I think that's just a, a function of just being larger so she doesn't quite have she's got a lot of forward and backward thrust but she doesn't have a lot of up. Yeah. Up. Can work on the two, three, four. Yes, yeah, so you just really have kind of these two. Up. Uh, sorry, four advanced thrusters, which. I don't think the 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 Kiwa has like four advanced thrusters and then two drive thrusters, so you really carry a lot of stuff up. So, anywho, um, yeah, I'm gonna set things up with the Blue Tempest. I don't know why those are on; they shouldn't be on. Yeah, they're not on. Um, yeah. Also, to show you guys, we we got the uh, so the Jupiter is gone. Although my my Waypoints always seem to remain. I can't get rid of them. The excavator and the substation are long gone as well. Um, but yeah, so we have the Helios here. And this is one that TK has modified. Because what he did is a mini. What, I don't remember what he said he did. He did something to take the mini base here. It, he. Um, Figured it to fit our Olympus, so we can actually carry the six Helios things. And he slapped the Kiwa in here. Yeah, so we can look at the Kiwa. So he's got like the advanced drive, advanced. So it's got four advanced and those drives. Um, yeah, man, look at that. That's a, that's a big bank of stuff. Uh, yeah, so yeah, so we've reconfigured that. Um, we've thrown in, we've got. A SM20 cargo rack. We've got 
the drop ship. We've also got the uh, garden module for our for our stuff. We got rid of the trinio, um, put in a, a compatible uh, gardening one, and then all of our like SVs and things that we need uh, got stashed in here. Right? Yep. In here. So that is uh, mostly what's happened. The other new one you might have seen, I took it, brought in another stand uh, creation, the uh, pickaxe, because um, I really wanted the Kiwa to do everything, and I realized I can't make it do everything. It's better to do, um, you know, get your purpose built things. So, yeah. All right. Um, I'm going to load everything up. I'm going to move some things over and unload some stuff, and then I will. Uh, bring you back and we will uh, go face that camera. All right, uh, get you in a bit. Oh, it, of course, it's going to be 30 minutes to server reset. <laughs> sure, I've got everything uh, loaded up in here. Be close enough, whatever. Let's put you in there. Oh. Man, it really didn't get very far. Um, <laughs> what do I need to do? Animation controller. Oh my gosh. I haven't really... I haven't cleaned this out in a while. Uh-oh. Naughty, naughty. Uh, this either. That's fine. We're mostly just here to kill stuff. So let's put some ammunition, some fuel topped off. And like this stuff. Fuel and. Need some of that. Probably need some of that. Maybe. Oh yeah. No, we're gonna be up against the carrier. Something else in the work. All right, there we go. That's good. Let's get going. Yeah, thirty minutes to restart. Thirty minutes to do this. Zoom on out of here. Um, we have taken care of most of the stuff in this area. Yeah, like that. Oh, period's gone. What else we got? Sector here. Yeah, there's a camera. It. There's a camera. It. Another camera. It. You know what? Is this a asteroid? Well, it's two. Oh no, it's the one of those planets. Alright. No, oh, it's this one. Three. Okay. Yeah, we're going there. We get stuck in the uh we get stuck in the uh asteroid field, it'll be easier to be a sitting duck to take out, so that's always nice. We like sitting ducks.
It is not a sitting duck. It is up there. <laughs> okay, it's on. Everything on. You're on. Let's go. Take a bit of two. Yeah, let's get some of those two. so great so I think you're supposed to fire from the bottom but I haven't really good firing angle wish the Let's stop with that swooshing sounds when we're doing this guys back up or my uh, shields back up too you can handle about 20 oh wow whoops over all right Something. Probably something important. Far forward. Yeah, I shoot pretty far forward at the uh, that light. In order to get the what I want to do is I want to get back up to about a hundred percent if I can. I don't know if I can out heal this guy. I 
down to zero. There we go. We're up to 59. Uh, can get in there. That's one. One. I misjudge things. I misjudge things. That one. That was not my. Definitely not my best round. And I panicked once I um. <laughs> once I uh got right up to him. The last time I did that, uh, I did that to an emirate, and I got like stuck inside of the uh. The ship it almost couldn't escape not when I want this guy do that little flip around thing so often, which is a bit unnerving. Which direction is or which side I want to be on? I guess this is not the side that I want to be on. decided one to be on. <laughs> Come on, you. This guy just speeding around. Got ship made of magic. Hmm. Alright, we got 20 minutes to, uh, well, 18 minutes to server shutdown. So. in there. Turn it back 
so. Not a lot of avoiding those, uh, Gleam is there turrets. Fifteen minutes. Yeah, there we go. That one. So. All right, in we go. Too far away. It's getting a little closer. Okay, I can take out its. I don't think I can take out the shields from here. For one shot, no. Seriously, my, are my missiles just disappearing? What's going on here? It's no good. There we go. That was too close. 12 minutes to lose her back up. Not closer. Like this. I was really hoping after the first fight I would have had a better, oops, that hurt, had a better sense of where the core is and how to do this, and I do not, that's the problem. that they look so 
similar, it looks so similar to the top and bottom. It's really hard to catch the profile. Like, I guess that side there is the top, but it's hard to tell. Alright, let's swoop in. I'm swooping. Alright. Five percent. That would have been bad. That would have been a lot of explosions. Ooh. That's the closest I've ever come <laughs> in this ship, at least. Oh. All right. Oh. Some more capacity in. Get in with a EMP volley. It's a good thing I have a ton of resources for making cruise missiles because it's useful. Off a bit. My shield's up. Hopefully, I can just get right up there and uh, say hello. Pretty cool. Let's get my core guide up. Why do I not know where the. Why do I not know where this is? Right, right smack in the center there. Where I need to be. I think I'm gonna have to call it. It is, we got seven minutes to server back up. So basically they'll kick me out. Um, I don't know how much we really need the resources in there, but I, I can't like, it seems like a waste to, to uh, let it go. It is a million credits though. So we'll probably be back. I don't think it's gonna restart. And the EMPs on this thing just, obliterated shields so that's nice yeah that's the plan we'll be back and if we're not back uh thank you guys very much for coming along with me on this journey i hope that you dump me all the way across the thing really Could not have done that um anyway uh thank you guys so much for coming along with me on this journey i hope you had a good time um 
we got to see a few things. Uh, kind of see how, how this all works with uh, the things. Sorry, I'm trying to scout out like a uh, Pentaxid box. But yeah. Um, just have that wrong button there. Um, yeah, thanks for coming along with me on this journey. And we got to uh, test out new the Orca, uh, a new like planetary bombardment CV for us. Um, looks promising. I need to mess around with it a bit, kind of customize it to my preference. And we will be back for that camera. All right, take care, guys. Bye. All right, guys. Well. We are back at it, and we're in slightly dire straits than we were yesterday. So this is, this is the next day. Um, we are about 20 minutes out from server reset, and I'm I uh, I hope this guy hasn't regenerated. So hopefully, he's still got all the damage in him. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, he's not doing so great still. So. Eh, That's good to see. So hopefully we can get under him and take him out fairly quickly. Is the hope. This if you would. Cooperate. There we go. No. Oh, okay, we gotta back up now. Okay. Miss those projectiles. Okay. Yeah, we're showing that it's so great. <laughs> the uh, time that I did this last time, I pretty much had just obliterated most of the front of the, of, like the little wedge, like the main body, aside from the uh, the arms. Ooh. All right, let's see if we can get our. Back up enough. There we go. Sweet spot is around thirty percent. That's what we're going for. Let's get in there. Really? Like not much of the ship left. Not much of that ship left. I think I'm looking in the wrong place for the uh or Trying to make a run for it. Right, let's get up to him. He just fell. Oh no, he's moving still. So. Okay.
There we go. Oh, those are wasted missiles. There we go. Okay, that was a big mess. That was a big old mess. But at least we got. Oh, hey. Speed container. Ah, look at this, see? That's why it pays to go out and check those containers. You never know when you're gonna find, like, a... I guess maybe that was an ultra rare, maybe a very rare. Oops. Alright. Let's go grab those turrets. Other things. Or the server reset. Do, 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 do. Well, that was good. Um, it took a couple tries, but uh, we eventually got it. I need to go back and look in creative and see what kind of core we're looking at. Because the one that I was looking at, I'm pretty sure was like straight down here. And if I had just plowed through like the top, I would have gotten to it. Maybe it was like right here or something. Um, as it is, we ended up just blowing the heck out of everything. Who knows where? Oh yeah, so one thing I learned, this direction, is, yes, yeah, so we ended up blowing the heck out of everything here. It seems like maybe it's here. Uh, I have to go and look again. Anyway, um, so if you come up this area, this way, it's not this one, is it? The other one? It's this one. this way yeah the three rare containers which is sometimes nice yeah oh no sorry a rare and a couple unusual ones oh, as well as whatever this thing is very rare that's nice gun what gun did we get Ooh, light scout rifle. That is a nice thing to get. Up as well. Some stuff up here. Yep. Um, so, uh, that is it. We will leave it there, I think. Uh, ooh. Okay. Well, I guess if you want to hang around, you can watch me do the loot. Um, there are some interesting places in here to find the showers. Thanks. Anyway, yeah, so thank you guys so much for coming along with me. I hope you enjoyed this little show. Hopefully we'll be back. Uh, this might be the only episode that comes out this week. Um, hopefully we'll be back 
with more regular episodes. Um, I might see if I can get a double recorded next week. Um, just this week has been quite short on time to do stuff, so it makes it a little harder to do anything that way. See what's done here. No. That's just out. Do, 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 do. Wait, let's. say short on fuel, but I'm not having a lot of it. The way to put it. Like some of these, sometimes so, I know some people don't do a lot of this, but honestly, sometimes you'll find like an ultra rare loot container hidden behind something. Like they do that in the uh, the Emirates, the missile destroyers. So if you come across those, um, there's like a repair station in the one of the sides and there is a, if you take it out, there is a hidden, um, a very rare and ultra rare loot containers so it can be really useful to kind of explore behind and between and around these things so that's why I do this I don't know what you all do sometimes I feel like I'm crazy Oop. anyway uh, yeah that's it um Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye.